Now you'd think, why would someone want to fit in as a local when traveling? There are a variety of benefits, such as it's cheaper, you can avoid big crowds, and most importantly, you get to experience what it really feels like to live in a certain country you're visiting. There are three main categories which have a significant impact that will help you fit in as a local. First of all, fashion and clothing. They say don't judge a book by its cover, however first impressions are still something to consider. Secondly, in every country they have their own way of delivering their speech and actions. Lastly, being aware of their cultures and regimes is crucial to blend as a local. Overall, there's numerous ways to how to travel, but traveling as a local can be a unique and desirable experience. First off, we have clothing. By looking at someone from a foreign country, style changes drastically. When traveling to a country, you want to make sure you're wearing styles that are in fashion at the moment. For instance, in grade 9 I traveled to Europe and I remember I would wear a pair of leggings and a hoodie. You'd think it's in style, right? Wrong. Europeans actually tend to only wear leggings and hoodies to the gym. So even though I thought I was being a local tourist, I was doing the complete opposite. Secondly, many tourists go over the top. Let's talk about stereotypes. Who thinks French wear barrettes and the gentlemen have nice curly mustaches? Again, wrong. Here's another example. Countries in Europe all think Canadians live in igloos and only wear coats all year long. And this is not a myth that some people think that's true about us. I've experienced it before where one of my friends asked me if polar bears walk on our streets. Anyways, that comes to conclude, don't go overboard on your outfits and don't listen to all myths if you're really trying to fit in the crowd. Local people can see when you're a tourist and you're trying so hard to fit in. Certain countries have certain clothes that are simply disrespectful or too bold to wear. For instance, it is warm out in Canada, 20 degrees, everyone is wearing shorts. Whereas a day like this would be considered cold for Italians, they would have their spring wear on. Depending on the place, it can always differentiate. Overall, clothing is an important factor to consider when fitting in as a local. For my second argument, manners and comportment within the atmosphere have a substantial impact on becoming a local tourist. Every country has their own approach in the way they behave within their environment. For instance, here in Canada, small talk is very common. It is a congenial way to demonstrate to show respect towards each other. On the contrary, Europeans, such as in Germany, small talk with unknown individuals is unusual. In addition, as a tourist, you tend to be noticeable when taking lots and lots of pictures. Of course, the whole purpose of traveling is to make memories. When it comes to suiting in the, into the crowd, taking pictures of things that are found in each country can be easily detected that you're foreign. This beautiful paved sidewalk might be from Austria, but there's nothing else to it. Finally, technology and transportation, which is built into every individual's life nowadays, still differs in every country. People's comportment taking different transports over others depends on comfort and dependent factors. For instance, in some countries taking public transport is a day-to-day -day life. Netherlands, a unique example, is considered a biking country. There's even parking lots for bikes themselves. Countries that tend to be more spacious usually prefer traveling within cars. Transport and technology are a modern part of our society and behaviors. In conclusion, behaviors are influenced by factors surrounding you. Being respectful and trying to understand each other's gestures is essential to blend in. To sum up, before taking a step into the country, it is necessary to understand that each country has its own regimes, traditions, and hobbies. Regimes and timing of daily routines varies in each location. For instance, some countries eat dinner at 5, some eat as late as 10. Specifically, tourists tend to go in restaurants that are open at their specific meal time. This can result in simply not having a local meal. France eats dinner as late as 10 p.m., whereas here in Canada, restaurants are open 24 hours or open as early as 5 p.m. for dinner. That is to say, knowing regimes will leave you satisfied and able to try local experiences. Traditions are significantly important whether you want to be a local tourist or not. There are some actions which are not allowed in certain places, whether it is an action or a ritual that should be maintained. 
England, specifically London's travel lanes are reversed, meaning when you cross the sidewalk you have to look left first, then right. As a driver, it is your responsibility to become knowledgeable on safety features. Some rules are more severe than others. There's a variety of different instructions you must follow to be aware when entering a foreign country. Last but not least, we all have our favorite hobbies that are tied in with our pride for our countries. As we know, us Canadians, we love hockey. We even play it in the summertime. Germany is the country of soccer. Understanding that each country has its own passion towards its interest is crucial. It can be from sports to their history. Experience what they love doing puts you in a great spot to realize what it feels like to live in the area you're visiting. Every single country has its own living habits and surroundings which they are dependent on. Appreciating and learning their personal interests and culture will benefit you as a local tourist. Sometimes trying to fit in with locals is hard because there are many factors you can't control, such as the language, which takes up time and practice. However, if you are going to a certain country for an exchange program or for a considerate amount of time, you will realize that there are still so many traits that you can't manage to change, even if you decide to upgrade your style, behaviors, and cultures. Sometimes fitting in as a tourist can also have cool impact, yet being locally involved in the area is an extraordinary experience.